Most developers plateau after their first couple of years and never get better. They're stuck writing the same mediocre code at year five that they wrote at year two. And it's not because they're dumb, it's because they're trapped in three habits that feel productive, but actually keep them running in place like a hamster on a wheel. Except the hamster is probably learning faster. First, they're stuck in a washing machine. You know the cycle. You finish a React tutorial, feel like you just got a PhD in computer science, then try to build something on your own and suddenly forget how functions work. So naturally, you panic and find another tutorial. Maybe this one will make it click. Spoiler, it won't. Because tutorials are the programming equivalent of watching someone else go to the gym while you eat chips on the couch. The instructor has already solved all the problems. They tell you what to build, which library to import, where every comma goes, and you're just along for the ride nodding like, ah yes, I definitely would have thought of that, but you wouldn't have. Real learning happens when you build something without a guide and spend three hours debugging just because of a spelling mistake. Personally, I use code crafters to help me build amazing projects that actually help me learn tons. They're not the sponsor of this video, but you can check them out with the link below and enjoy their 40% off offer. That pain, that's growth. But most developers would rather watch their 73rd build a weather app tutorial than experience five minutes of not knowing what to do. Stop being a professional tutorial consumer and build something that scares you. Second, Second. they're looking for what I like to call Iron Man. To join that shot. This one kills me. Developers will watch Iron Man at midnight, see Tony Stark building an arc reactor in a cave with a box of scraps, and suddenly they're possessed by the coding gods. They'll open VS Code, code for four hours straight while drinking three energy drinks, and feel like they just invented the internet. Then they don't touch their keyboard again for three weeks, because they're waiting for that feeling to come back. They're waiting for motivation to strike like lightning. But motivation is the flakiest friend you'll ever have. It shows up randomly, stays for 20 minutes, then ghosts you for months. If you only code when you feel motivated, congratulations, you're basically not coding. What actually works? Boring, unsexy, consistent practice. The developers who actually improve code a little bit every day, even when they'd rather watch Netflix and question their life choices. They don't wait for inspiration. They show up like it's a job because improvement isn't about those magical 4 a.m. coding sessions where everything clicks. It's about the 30 minutes on a Tuesday when you're tired and nothing's working, but you do it anyway. That's the difference. Stop waiting to feel like Tony Stark and start acting like someone who brushes their teeth. And finally, comparing yourself to others. This is the developer killer. You'll see some 22-year-old on Twitter who just shipped an AI app that got 50,000 users and raised $2 million. And you'll look at your half-finished weather app like it's a participation trophy from third grade. Or you'll watch some coding influencer build a full-stack app in 18 minutes and wonder why it takes you 18 minutes just to remember what JWT stands for. So you abandon your projects because they're not impressive enough. You don't share your code because someone probably did it better. You spend more time stalking other developers' LinkedIn profiles than actually coding. But here's the thing. That 22-year-old probably failed at 12 projects before this one worked. That coding influencer edited out the six hours they spent crying over an error. Everyone's showing their highlight reel while hiding the blooper reel where they googled how to exit Vim for the 10th time. The only person you should compare yourself to is past you. Are you better than you were six months ago? But most developers can't do this because they're too busy having an existential crisis over someone else's GitHub contributions graph. So if you want to remember anything, remember this. Most developers would rather stay comfortable watching tutorials, waiting for inspiration, and feeling bad about themselves than actually do the work. Don't be most developers. And to make sure you aren't, subscribe. Thanks for watching.